Hi everyone, Monique here, Little Gems Creations 1. Today we are going to be making some apple earrings. Apple slice earrings. And we're going to start that in just a moment. Monique here, Little Gems Creations 1. Today we are going to be some, making some apple slice earrings. You're going to need a 2.5 millimeter crochet hook, 10 weight crochet thread. Now I'm using red and kind of an off white. And you're also going to need just a little bit of black. Okay, you're going to need two ear wires, two jump rings, and scissors and a darning needle. Okay, so let's get started. We're gonna start with the white. Okay, we are gonna cross our yarn and then we're gonna chain two. One, two. We're gonna go into that very first chain we made and we're gonna wrap our tail around the hook. Now we're gonna do single crochets. We're gonna do six single crochets. So that's one, two, three, four, five, and six. We're gonna slip stitch into that very first stitch. And then we're gonna chain up one. So that gave us six stitches, six single crochets. Now we're gonna put two single crochets in every stitch around to give us a total of 12, okay? So we're gonna start here and we're gonna do, did we chain up one? Yeah, we did, sorry, I just wanted to make sure. Okay, so we're gonna do two in each stitch two single crochets. So two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and Okay, we're gonna slip stitch into that first stitch. And we're gonna chain up one. Now, if we did our center right, when we pull that tail, it should cinch right up, okay? Now, <clears throat> this is our three round, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're putting two single crochets in that first stitch, one, two, and then we're putting one in the third stitch, three. So four and five go in the same stitch, four, five, and we wanna get up to a, a total of 18. And then six is on its own. Okay, so seven and eight go in the same stitch, eight, and nine goes on its own. 10 and 11 go in its same stitch. 10, 11, 12 goes on its own. Thirteen and 14 go in that same stitch. 15 on its own. 
16 and 17 into that same stitch. 17 and 18 is on its own. 18 is on its own. Then we're gonna slip stitch into that first stitch and chain up one. That's what we have so far. Okay. <clears throat> now we're doing round four. And round four is done in multiples of four. So we're gonna go two in the first stitch, one, and this is still all single crochets, two, and then three is on its own, and four is on its own. Five and six are in the same stitch. Five, six, seven and eight are by themselves. Seven is in its stitch, eight is by its stitch. We're gonna continue this until we have 24. Meet me back. Okay, so I've got my 24 stitches. I'm gonna slip stitch into that first stitch. And then we're gonna chain up one. Okay, now we're on round five, and round five we do in multiples of five. So first stitch has two stitches. One, two. And then the next three stitches have just a single crochet in them. So three goes by itself, four goes by itself, and five goes by itself. Okay, so then we're starting another five. So six and seven go together. Six, seven, Eight, nine, and 10 are by themselves. Eight is by itself. Nine is by itself. And 10 is by itself. Do that until you have 30 stitches. Meet me back. Okay, so I've got my 30. So now I'm just gonna slip stitch into that first stitch. Okay, and make my loop big. I'm gonna cut my thread and put the tail through the loop. There we go. Now we're gonna take this time to weave in our ends. If your center didn't cinch up nice and tight, then this would be when you could fix it and you could sew it shut. Okay, so I'm just gonna weave in here. I'm not going all the way through the front. I'm just catching the stitches on the back. Okay. And even though we brought it around with our stitches, I still weave it in just because I'm paranoid about things coming undone. So I go back a little and then forward past where I was. And again, I'm not going to the front of the stitches. I'm just catching the back threads. And there we go. So there, give it a cut. Now I'm gonna do this same thing with this one. So I'm coming out here, so I'm just going to catch some of these. I don't want to distort my stitches so I don't pull too, too tight. And I'm just going to catch some of these on the back. Okay, see what I'm doing here? There we go. And I'm not tying any knots, I'm just going through the stitching. Okay. Then I'm gonna cut it. This doesn't have to be perfectly beautiful because it's getting folded in. Okay, now you just want a tiny scrap of black. Okay, and this is for our apple seeds. So on the front, we're just gonna pick an area. We want it close to the center, so I'm going, the, this is my center, I'm going the row above. 
And I'm just gonna put some seeds just all the way around. So you see how I kind of skipped this hole? I'm going to this one. Whoops. Leave the tail at the back. And then I'll go into this one. And then I'll skip one. And I'll go into this one. And I'll go into this one. And then I'll skip one and go into this one. And go into that one. And I'm just doing this all the way around. until I get back. Uh, here we go. Oops. And then there we go. And we're back at the center. I'm just gonna go to the back. And I'm just gonna tie a square knot. Okay, don't pull your yarn or your thread too tight because you don't want to distort the stitches. So see, we're still good. Okay, I'm gonna do one more knot. And then I'm gonna trim them with long tails. Not super long, but long-ish. Okay, there we go. So there we go. Now, we are going to take our red, because we're doing a red apple slice, and we're gonna fold this, so this is your right side. We're gonna fold this, okay? Now, okay, I'm gonna kinda zoom in. Okay, you see how there's this one stitch, and then there's two on either side of it? Right? So we're going through those stitches. We're gonna catch our yarn, pull through, and we're gonna chain up two. And in that same spot, we're gonna do a half double crochet. Half double crochet is yarn over, into the same spot, pull through, go through all three loops. Okay? We're gonna do one more. So we're doing Another half double crochet in that same spot, okay? <clears throat> so that, that chain doesn't count as a stitch. So now we're gonna continue all the way around. So we're with half double crochets into the stitch, into the stitch at the back, okay? And then half double crochet. So this is three because the chain doesn't count as a stitch. Okay, so this will be, sorry, I gotta zoom back out. There we go. So that was three. This will be four. And the counting is important. <laughs> so I'll show you why. Five. Now six, okay, in the seventh here where we're putting our sevenths, we're putting two. And this is just to keep it increasing. Well, I don't think I went through that right. Bear with me. Okay, yarn over into that stitch there and into that back stitch here. Come on now, come on. Don't be like that, there we go. And we're putting two in there. So that was six, so that's seven. And this will be eight. And then one in each. So eight. Nine. Ten. Make sure you're getting both of them. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. 
12, and then the next stitch we're putting two. So this will be 13, and 14 in the same stitch. 14, and then 15, Come on now. Sorry, I have to go off screen for a minute here. But you can look at my pretty ring. <laughs> okay, there we go. Got it through. So 12, 13, 14, 15, and then 16. Seventeen, and then in this last stitch, we're putting two. Whoops. Okay, so one, and then two. Okay. Double check that you did it right. Okay. Then we're gonna make a big loop. And we're gonna pull our tail through our loop. And there you go. We've got an apple slice. Isn't that adorable? So now what you're gonna do is hide those threads and meet me back and then we'll put the earring on it. Okay, so I hid my threads. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our jump rings now, when you open a, drum, a jump ring, you always open it sideways, okay? So let me show you. You open it sideways like that, okay? So this is the front of your piece and this is the back of your piece. So you put your jump ring through the stitching and you put on your ear wire and then you close that jump ring. There you go. And if it doesn't quite line it up, line up, keep doing it until it lines up. There we go. And there is your adorable apple slice earring. So make another one. I hope you like this video. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe. Isn't that so cute? Um, hit the like and subscribe. In the description, I have a link to my Etsy store, which I sell patterns in, as well as, um, of course, my finished items. I also have a really neat new item. It is a crochet journal log. It's really great to keep track of what projects you've got on the go, when you started them, who they're for, what size hook you used. So go check that out in my Etsy store as well. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye now.